Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot celebrating its 40th anniversary. We're going to be going around riding our favorite rides, trying some of the exclusive 40th anniversary snacks, and then later on after the park closes, we're going to be attending a special after hours event with super rare character meet and greets like Mickey and Minnie dressed up in their test track outfits and astronaut Donald. So many cool things and it's all benefiting Give Kids the World. Anywho's, let's go do this when you first walk in the park they give you a special epcot 40th map and then they give you this little epcot 40th poster when you leave and i also noticed they're playing retro epcot music like retro epcot loop music and i love that i listen to this when i'm cleaning my apartment Epcot anniversaries have a super soft spot for me because I remember coming down and vacationing here at Disney World and I think it was my third time ever coming down to Disney World. It happened to be during Epcot's 30th anniversary and I didn't know anything about it but they had a big celebration and an awesome firework tag. I don't know if Disney's going to do that for the 40th. I really hope they do but we'll see. I mean I know that they're offering some cool things like commemorative maps like I showed you and a couple of performances. And we're just going to go around and kind of just see what's happening, you know? Seriously, I think I could just sit here listening to the bushes all day long. I love this Epcot music. It's really, really awesome. But there's a lot to do today, so I guess we better get moving along. A lot of people are excited for the Epcot 40th anniversary merchandise and the line's pretty long. They're sending you in an opposite direction. We'll check out the line and see if it goes down a little bit later on. But there's a lot of things that I don't really see myself buying. So I'm not really looking to get anything, but I still want to see how long it is. And if I get the chance, then maybe I want to get something. Maybe a hat or a magic band, you know, one of the fancy things. Twitter. Ran into some friends already and what would an Epcot anniversary be without a bunch of other good friends here? Look at this, Florin Ryan, Tampa J, Chris the Girl, Adam the Woo, everyone's here, Promise, you look at this, Travis right down Main Street, everyone's here, yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. The special after hours event that I'm talking about was all a part of DizCon and it was only $100 for this ticket to come to this after hours event. And it's really cool because they rented out part of Epcot itself and it has super rare character meet and greets. Like I said, Mickey and Minnie dressed up in Test Track, uh, Astronaut Donald and the first ever photo opportunity with Max and Powerline. And also you get to ride rides like Guardians of the Galaxy, Mission Space, Test Track. And it's really cool. It's all benefiting Give Kids the World Village. And like I said, it was a part of Discon, but Discon got canceled because of the hurricane that just happened. And tickets were only 100 bucks. Like, you can't beat that. So I'm so happy to show you guys that. But that's going to be later on in the video. Looks like we found the end of the line for the uh, creation shop. And this is all for the 40th anniversary Epcot merchandise. And I think it's probably, like they said, about 45 minutes from here. But it wraps all the way around and it's basically right up to the wall. Wish they would have some shade though. It's got to be hot out. So we'll check on this later. It probably will go down a little bit later on. Now I think we're going to swing into Starbucks and see if we can get the special 40th anniversary liege waffle. They have a special waffle just for the 40th anniversary. And like I said, I've been on a waffle kit and I love the liege waffle from here. So they've been doing seasonal ones and hopefully we can get them. They didn't sell out, but we'll find out. They actually sold out of the waffles, but they're in the process of making new ones right now. And it's really awesome to be able to see them make the waffles. Oh, over here is the finished product. Look at this. Full tray right there. Those are the 40th anniversary Epcot waffles. So at least we know if we wait, we're gonna get uh, fresh waffles. Looks like they actually just restocked and I was able to get one, so I'm so excited. We're gonna try the Epcot 40th anniversary liege waffle. I like how I emphasize on the <laughs> liege. <laughs> Normally, uh, they're like pre-packaged like this, but because they are in high demand, like I said, we're getting a fresh one. It actually is warm still, or that might be because of the sun. But I have high expectations for this waffle, actually. Like I said, I mean, I like the regular one that they serve here, but uh, here we go. That's good. I love how soft this is. And it does taste a lot like white chocolate. I don't know if I like all those sprinkles, though. I'm not the biggest fan of sprinkles, but it is a good treat. I don't know. 
It's just cool that they have a seasonal thing. I can't wait to see what they come up with for Christmas. I think it's so interesting that they keep running out and having to remake ones and they can't keep up with the supply on them. People really go crazy for Epcot stuff. Even waffles, Epcot waffles. <laughs> I go crazy for Epcot waffles. She goes crazy for Epcot waffles. Now that the waffle business is taken care of, I figured we'd come on over here to journey into imagination with Figment and uh, ride. I mean, it's the 40th anniversary, might as well see the icon of Epcot, which is Figment. Because it's the 40th anniversary, they're uh, letting us actually go back to the reception desk to take photos. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to come back here. Look at this. Look at these fancy chairs and you can sign the book here. Look at all the signatures. Wow, happy 40th birthday, Epcot. This is so amazing. This is so cool. Today's Sunday, October 2nd, 2022. This is an, a real calendar right now. And they got the switchboards here. This is, this is so awesome. I'm so happy right now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> sir, 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 which way to the 11th floor? Uh, I need some directions. Thank you. <laughs> Very fancy. That's the look. Seriously, this is just so awesome being back here, right? It's pretty cool. Right? It's pretty cool experience. This is a good 40th memory. I feel bad though because I wanted to sign the book, but the October 1st was all is all full. Everyone already signed it today. Like it was so so we signed for the second. Yeah. You know? They, we're cool like that. This is so awesome though. Seriously, that was always a goal of mine to actually go back there. I am so honored. That is so cool that they're doing that for the 40th anniversary. And it was awesome reading everyone's notes. Like everyone was just like, happy birthday Epcot. I wish we could have fit our name on there. They probably stopped like this page itself, but people were just writing on over like other people's names. You know what I mean? I am now so excited to ride Journey into Imagination after being behind the reception desk. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Bye! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello! On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Go, oh, go! Oh, come on, go too! Hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere! But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination! <laughs> so, let the good times roll! Woo! You win one second! Yes, 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 yes! yes. yes. It's coffee! What's going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down! Upside down? Now you're talking! Riding Figment was so awesome. I'm so happy we did that today, but it got me thinking, because you know, they announced at D23 that Figment meet and greets are coming back. Where do you think they're gonna have them? Do you think they're gonna have them here in the uh, little play pavilion? Or do you think it's gonna be outside? Or do you think they're gonna remodel upstairs and put them in the rainbow tunnel? How cool would that be? I don't think they'd ever get rid of Wreck-It Ralph since they opened up or since they created the Link Chamber. But if they do get rid of somebody, I think it might be over here in Imagination Land. I'm just saying, that's what I would think. I would hope that they would just add a new area though. It's still really cool to see the Link Chamber open up though. Regardless where they actually set up Figment to do meet and greets, best believe I will be there waiting in line the first day because I love Figment. I'm a Figment fan.
Now it's time we make our way into World Showcase. I hear that they have a Epcot 40th anniversary margarita in Mexico. And while we're over there, maybe we'll ride the Grand Fiesta tour as well. They're actually selling special uh, Fiesta margaritas for uh, the Epcot 40th, but they come in a cool cup that says Mexico 40 because each pavilion is celebrating their 40th as a whole along with Epcot. So that's kind of fun. And they also have individual snacks at some of the sit down restaurants, but this is one of the ones that are just here at the quick service. And we got to try it. We got to get, we got to get a margarita in Mexico. Here is the cup that it actually comes served in and I ended up getting one along with some water and then they have a conga which is like a Mexican fruit punch. So I had to try that. I don't know why. I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, here it is. Look how pretty it is. I love it. It's very colorful too. Buyer beware, the margarita is $19, but 40th anniversary, you only get one of them. You know, next year it's gonna be 41. It's just getting old, Epcot's getting old. It's getting old. This is basically a regular Fiesta, but they add blue agave in there. So they add it with a little touch and I like it. I remember when this uh, stand first opened up, anytime anyone ordered a Fiesta, they had like a little Fiesta. They had like a celebration. I miss that. I wish they'd bring it back, but I'm sure they were all Fiesta'd out. It's a little smoky. There's some smokiness to it. Oh, there is some smokiness to it. It's actually good though. I like it. When you get the smoky first and then you get like some of the, the sweet juices, Sweet juices. <laughs> it does. It tastes really good. Sweet juices. I like it. And I had to get this. I thought it was going to be liquid though because I was a little dehydrated. So I wanted to get something other than alcohol. Yeah. And I didn't know it was going to be frozen. So I'm still going to try it though. It looks good. It looks good. Oh, yes, too. Yes. A little Mexican fruit, uh, Mexican fruit punch. Ashlyn has to drink every drink with this souvenir cup in it. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Holy moly. Oh, my Lord. I decided to actually add my conga to my margarita and now I feel like I got a whole new margarita even though it's melting so quick like the condensation from the cup is just dripping off there but this is a cool cup to keep though look at that Mexico 40 and now it's a conga now a conga -rita. I like it or a conga a conga oh yeah over at the abacadab bar yeah. <laughs> we're getting fancy here <laughs> Now that we're finishing up our margaritas, I think we're gonna head on in and ride the Grand Fiesta tour. Like I said, it was something I was planning for, Mexico 40. It's definitely looking busy in the Mexico pavilion here. I love how everyone's in here just drinking margaritas and chilling by the fountain. My kind of people. Hi, how are you? Hi, are you having a good day? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's nice and breezy. today there is we just had a fiesta look at these old men right here they always scare me with their noses look at them oh he's looking up at me Mexico 40 I'm gonna show you guys this amazing hidden Mickey. I always point it out over here because it just blows my mind. Once you get here and you're next to the three caballeros, just look over in the window here, you'll see Mickey standing. Oh. See this, Micah? Look at Mickey standing in the window right here. Oh, there he is. Wow. That's huge. That's so cool. <laughs> you can never go wrong with the Grand Fiesta Tour and I didn't mean for this to happen but it just happened so I'm gonna go with it and I love it it was really nice good to get out of the hot air get a little AC and uh, now we're gonna keep walking around World Showcase a little bit don't be suspicious don't be suspicious <laughs> 
I ran into some more friends actually hanging out uh, of the Mexico Pavilion right here. We got Mouse Vibes and Ordinary Adventures. And then, yes, and uh, yeah, you guys having a good Epcot 40th? Yes. Very fancy. Yes, that's the way. Well, it's nice seeing you guys. <laughs> I'm not too sure if they plan on doing a special like firework tag for the Epcot 40th anniversary, but they did put Epcot 40th on all the barges here at least. I mean, that looks fancy, but who knows? I mean, I'd be excited to see a tag. I loved it. Like I told you guys, that story on the 30th anniversary was so memorable for me. Now I think we're gonna make our way over to Japan. They're doing some special sake shots or a sake flight to celebrate Epcot's 40th anniversary and it's very colorful, so it's definitely something right up my alley. Here is a look at the sake cocktail flight. Look at this, you get four uh, different sake cocktails and it's some of your popular ones. They've got the Tokyo Sunset, the famous Violet Sake, and then the Mount Fuji, all right here. And it's all for Epcot 40th, I kind of love this. It's funny because the cocktail flight is just some of the popular drinks that they normally sell here, but it just looks so cool, like with all the colors and being able to get them all together. I like that. And I don't think any of this stuff is going to be available for more than like two or three days. It's not like going to last the whole 40th anniversary. So you got to take advantage when you can get it. But here they all are. That is so fancy looking, isn't it? You can spread them out, put them together, just like that, any way you like. I don't know which one I should do first. I mean, they're all good. I've had them all before, but uh, I think they added one extra one that's special. I don't know which one it was, because this is obviously the Violet Sake. Violet. <laughs> I guess we'll start with this one first. It's always so good. It's like a Jolly Rancher. I love it. Mm. Now we'll try the blue one. What if I don't like one of these? <laughs> Wow, blue one's good. They're all gonna be good. I know it. They're all gonna be amazing. Oh, that's the Tokyo Sunset right there. I've had that before. I'm not too sure about this green one though. Very suspicious one, Eric. Oh, that's not bad either. They're all really good, but I gotta stick with the Violet Sake. That's my favorite. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this many different sake cocktails ever. <laughs> Look at this whole table. It's crazy. Are we all just gonna cheersy? Cheers. Everyone's grabbing a cheersy. They're sock Does anyone need a light? Socktails. Socktails. Sock Woohoo! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! Epcot 40th. Now that the sake business is taken care of, we're going to make our way back out to the front of the park because they're going to be doing a special show on Spaceship Earth and then I think we're going to space. Maybe. I think we might end up going to space. I've been told the show is absolutely amazing. We missed the first one, but I think they do it continuously like every 20 minutes. It looks like it's starting up right now too. So we're going to go up there and wait.
very blue, but that was beautiful. Yeah, it kept on going out of focus, but ending with illuminations was a nice little touch. Kind of got me a little teary-eyed. I really miss, I miss illuminations. It was a great, you know, fireworks show. And like I said before, it ties into me coming down and being here for the 30th and then watching that tag. So it was, it was a nice touch. I really liked it a lot. I hope it comes out good on camera for you guys. I don't have the fanciest of cameras, but I make my way. I do well. I do good. <laughs> We were gonna try to see if we can go to Space 220, but I don't think we have enough time because if the chances they do do a tag, we wanna be there to watch it. But we're coming right back out over to this area for the After Hours event. I feel like so much has gone by so fast and we have so much more to go. We're gonna be here all night and I'm just so excited. It's gonna even, it's only gonna get better from here. All right, we're all set up with a spot to watch the fireworks. Now we don't know if it's gonna be anything new, but I'm only gonna put in anything that is new, so if there isn't a special Epcot 40th like tag, then uh, I guess we'll just show you the finale. <laughs> As we gather by the fire, don't you miss illuminations? I do. I do. It was really good to see it though on the uh, spaceship Earth. I do, I, I, you know, but I do like Harmonious too. I'm not gonna lie, I do like Harmonious, but it would be nice if they did like Epcot Forever tonight. Or just like, just a special tag with a little Walt voice in it. I'm all about it. Maybe or a maybe little veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit. Or maybe just do illumination. Maybe just do <laughs> illumination. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that hurt a little bit. I mean, I, I love that they did the special show on Spaceship Earth, but like I said before, coming and seeing that special anniversary tag, the 30 years when I first came was such a memorable moment for me. And then, of course, the 35th anniversary. So I don't know why they wouldn't do it for the 40th. And then, on top of that, they didn't have the cannons. Now, I'm not, I mean, still a vacation destination. It's amazing to see fireworks like that. But, you know, just being a local, I was a, I was a little I was a little let down. A little let down, but it's okay. Because we're gonna go do a very awesome After Hours event right now. And that, I am very excited for. As we were making our way to check in for our event, I noticed that the Epcot 40th merch line is only a 10 minute wait. Look at this. I'm so happy we waited to actually come do this until the end of the night. Now, I'm sure some of the good merchandise is gone, but I think I might just wanna get a hat. I, I think I want a hat. You want a hat? Hats. Get the hat, huh? Get the hat. I will get the hat. Is the hat still available? I think so. All right, I'm good to go. I'm... <laughs> wow, this was literally a three minute wait. <laughs> Seriously, people waited an hour or so to get in here. And from what I was told, everything's still available. So we really lucked out. I'm definitely getting the Epcot 40th anniversary hat right here. Ooh, what are those? Oh, that is. Oh, I'll take one of these. I'm taking them all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the spirit jerseys over here too. Oh, so many good things. Honestly, there's so much merch still left over at the end of the day. Look at this. We've got the red shirts here. We got the ones back there. We got that. Look at that. At the end of the day. Sold out. Yep. Someone opened it a little. Oh, fancy, fancy. But this is nice. I'm so happy. Look at my arms. I don't know if you guys can see me. <laughs> uh, I feel nice. <laughs> and, and I'm holding some of his stuff too. <laughs> a decision had to be made, and I had to put some back. This is my haul right here. I got the hat. It's got the nice little October 1st on there. I got the little figment. I got the Epcot Magic Band. I got the Epcot 40th Tumblr. And then I got this big dog right here. Look at this guy. This was $115, but I'm pretty sure they sold out. Yeah, look at you. I see you. I see you. Let me take a look at this. It looks so fancy. He's gone. <laughs> and I had to put those back, but I spent $200. <laughs> I spent $200. Mobile checked out, ready to go. Now it's time to go to the event. Great success. I am so happy. I got a lot of stuff. In fact, I think I'm gonna wear my uh, Epcot 40th hat. All right, we are all checked in. Look at this. 
We got our credentials and I'm so excited. We can ride Guardians of the Galaxy as much as we like. As we have two hours, we can just keep on riding all we want. But there are desserts, there are alcoholic beverages for sale and all of the cool character meet and greets. So let's get to see where to start. We have like about a half an hour before all the festivities kick in. You made it. There it is. Look how awesome this is back here. Seeing it so empty like this, this is really, really cool. I'm so pumped now. The characters don't come out for a little bit, but I'm, I'm excited. I wonder how many times I can ride Guardians tonight, but I, I want to show off all the characters, so that's like the most important thing. And I'm sure Test Track is going to be a walk-on because everyone's going to be wanting to ride Guardians. I'm excited for Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'm more excited to meet Powerline and 626 Stitch. So we're going to hop in line, meet them first, and then hop around, and then maybe ride Guardians. But I want to see the characters first because those are super rare. It ain't a question of if, just a matter of time Before I move to the front of the line to stand out I'm so happy to see you. Literally, this is my day. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can we take a photo? Yeah? All right. Oh, uh, you guys see eye to eye. I love it. Which one's yours? Greatest thing ever right there. I'm literally just, I, I, I could just leave right now. Honestly, I could just leave. I, I, I feel like I've accomplished everything I've wanted. Oh. Donald, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen an astronaut Donald. <laughs> Space team, look at, and look at his little feet. Oh, well, thank you, Donald. Thank you, friend. I hope you have a great day. Nate, you wanna hold, I'll hold this. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you take a picture for me? All right. I'm sorry, Donald. Thank you. Look, our friend <laughs> Nate beat him too. I feel so fancy. So cool. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks, Donald. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Included with the event, they have beverages like some hot coffee, which I might get myself some coffee a little bit later on. But most importantly, right now, right here, all you care to enjoy pog juice this is what i came for look at that this is like liquid gold i say liquid gold and it's ice cold i'll take one i'll take two gonna fill these bad boys right up i think we're gonna triple fist it right here i think we could triple fist it. i have friends that are in line so i'm bringing them i'm bringing them some pog juice there we go that's the way I will drink pog juice all day and all night. I'm gonna drink pog juice all night. I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Looks like we've got some desserts here. We got a key lime Mickey tart. Thank you. I'll take one of these Boston cream cakes. These look so good. There we go. And then we got some cupcakes. I uh, know these macarons or macaroons. Oh, Kaiba pistachio one. Thank you. Oh, well, you're helping me. I feel so fancy. I, I, I assume Look at this. Green, green means pistachio. I would go with it. I'll take it. If you offer it, I'll take it. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with all the snacks they have here and the pog juice. Here's the uh, Boston Eclair, and I already had the pistachio macaroon, and it was so good. But gotta try the uh, Boston uh, Eclair. Wow. Now that we officially got to meet Powerline, I wanted to come over here and see Stitch. And it's actually 626 Stitch. Oh my God, here he comes. Oh, look at him, I'm so excited right now. Look at him. He's just trotting in. Look at this. That is so priceless. <laughs> wow, way too cool. Look at this, here comes, oh, Test Track Goofy. Look at him in his outfit. This is too cool. I've never seen Goofy dressed up like that. You, you, <laughs> pit crew. Pit crew Goofy and Pluto right here. Wow. Goof, we just saw Maxi. He was dressed up like Powerline. You should have seen it, it was a good time. Yeah, you guys would have been a cool, uh, nice little pit crew for him. It was very nice, yes, I love it. 
<laughs> and what do you have on your uh, collar there? Oh, very fancy. That's the checkered flag. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's time to ride some rides. Let's make our way over to Guardians of the Galaxy. This is such a cool thing to just be able to walk in. I'm so excited about this. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I was about to say welcome to Soren, but we're going to Guardians of the Galaxy. The fact that we're just walking right on Guardians of the Galaxy is blowing my mind right now. This is just so crazy. I mean, it's what you pay for. It's $100 to come tonight, and I feel like between the character meet and greets, this is totally worth it. This is good. Ah! <laughs> ah! Just got off and guess what? We're going back. Going back through. Oh, I can go this way? Oh, well fancy that, thank you. Look at this. We're getting the fancy treatment. If we wanted to, we probably could have rode this ride, like I would say 20 times tonight. Definitely. Like, the only thing, the only weight that you have is actually the pre-shows themselves. I think after this ride, we're gonna have to call it a night. I am so exhausted. It's been a very, very long, long day. My dogs are barking, and <laughs> everyone keeps on telling me to stop saying my dogs are barking, but they are! <laughs> what have we done? I think we took back. What are we gonna get? Some Now we get to walk out to basically a pretty empty park right now. I mean, it's, it's all empty here. The event is officially over and uh, we have to make a swift exit. And with that, I think we are done here today. What an epic day. Happy birthday, Epcot. So happy to be here with some amazing friends, having a good time and just celebrating a wonderful theme park. And also, Discon was absolutely amazing. Getting to meet Powerline uh, Maxi, riding Guardians of the Galaxy. That was so much fun. There was so many great things today. And uh, if you guys want to look forward to other upcoming events, I will put a link for Give Kids the World Village and Discon because they are going to be doing this again next year. And I remember the year before they rented out Hollywood Studios and they did Rise of the Resistance and stuff like that. So it's always a good idea to keep an eye. And they usually do give me like a promo code where it's like 50% off to offer you guys so if you're looking for next year I'll put a link in the description and I hope you guys enjoy the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye